Hi everyone, I'm sharing with you today my very first tree wisdom report. It was going to be an energy report of sorts and I connected with my tree friend Henrietta. So for those of you who are new to what I do, last year I moved to a small community in Nova Scotia and found myself connecting with a tree that had invited me to buy a journal and to record her messages and beautiful wisdom has come through. This tree calls herself Henrietta after a young woman who used to sit at her base a hundred years ago she told me lamenting lost loves and so I went to Henrietta today. It's been a long winter with a very slow spring you could say here in Nova Scotia and I haven't been out as much and so it was beautiful today and it was a wonderful day to connect get out and connect with her and I wanted to put this report in my newsletter for June so I went out and connected with Henrietta so I'm just going to share that with you today for the first tree wisdom report for the month of June 2013 and in the um, first part of this uh, I was walking through the trail and I hadn't made my way to Henrietta yet and I was walking by a tree and I noticed a squirrel very low on the tree almost at eye level with me and it was like it was just coming to visit me and so I stood there for a while and connected with this squirrel and was sending it my love and it kept coming closer and closer very curious and then another couple walked by on the trail and it disappeared up the tree. So I had already made a connection in a sense before I had come to connect with Henrietta. And so here's what Henrietta had to say. Oh dear Roshana, what a pleasure it is to have you at my base. For you see, love is love. You sitting here loving me is the truth of creation. For so long humans have forgotten this truth. Humans have been lost in the drudgery of life and lost to the beauty that is love. To have you sitting at my base loving me is the most beautiful unfolding. And you see that the creatures of the earth feel it as well. So she's referring to that little squirrel that came to visit me and because I was feeling the love and happy to be in the woods, um, it had come to visit me and when the other couple came it scurried away. So when we're walking in the fullness of love, in the forest or in nature, the creatures and the plants can feel that. And science is proving more and more, actually it started proving way back in the 70s, that plants respond to our energy, they respond to our thoughts. And for some reason that really hasn't come forward very much, but indeed it is the truth. So the plants can respond to us, they can respond to our love, just as I know that we can respond to the plants when we're open to that. And so Henrietta continues, You are love walking. I can feel your love and wish you to know that I send that love back to you. What we would like your readers and your listeners to know is when they love their surroundings, the natural world, that love comes back to them tenfold. Most do not realize this. Your love is felt by all. The nature kingdom is much more sensitive than humans than humans have realized. You had thought of a tree energy report. We would advise a tree wisdom report every month, and so I will be doing this. For you see, you are creators, and you are creating your experience every day. If your reports focus on love, how to be love, and feel love, and know love, then that is what you will create. We wonder how many of your listeners have noticed a bird singing today. How many of your readers have noticed the caterpillar creeping by? This is love. The more you notice of nature, the more nature sends love back to you. When we're outside in nature and we notice the little things, um, life becomes more magical. For example, when I was out in my walk today and connecting with Henrietta, there were the little white fluffy seeds floating by that reminded me of the movie Avatar. And to me it's like spirit is talking to me, telling me that that magic is alive, telling me what that magic is. And that's always there when we are 
-hmm. aware and allowing everything in nature to speak to us on a different level. That's when life really does feel like magic and being in nature is that magic to me. And so Henrietta continues to say, you are learning, Roshana, in this moment that you receive this message because you do not allow your mind to limit you. So you are learning just how powerful this can be. And in that moment, when I first found my way to Henrietta, the place where I would normally sit, I always sit on the roots that are coming out from the base of the tree. And there were big ants, bigger than I usually see, and they were red in the middle, so that told me that if they uh, were to bite, it might be a bit of a nasty bite, so I decided not to sit there. So I went up around the other side and sat on another root there, and as I was writing, I noticed one of the same ants coming closer to me, and so I asked Henrietta to use her energy to send it away, to send the ant away so that I could stay where I was and not have to worry about this ant crawling on me while I was writing. And so I just put that request out there and I waited and watched and the next thing I knew this ant had not only turned around and was facing away from me but it was running. It was like something was chasing this ant and it couldn't get away fast enough. I don't think I've ever seen an ant kind of run that way. It's almost like you could see that the ant was frantic until it got away from me and then it just kind of slowed down a bit and started walking again. So it was really fun to experience that and to see like that immediate response to my request from Henrietta to ask the ant not to be around me so that I could stay comfortable. And she goes on to say that that is one example of how nature can and will support you. That is how it truly works when you come to from love and not fear. Fear would have quickly squished the ant. Love asks for support and trusts. Fear has no trust and humans have lost their trust for themselves and for nature. Oh, there is so much that could be revealed. It will be in time. Humans will be ready to hear it in time. We, the trees, look forward to that time. You are leading the way, Roshana. What a delight it is for us to be part of your great awakening. Bring as many as you can on board. The world needs love. May love be your focus this day, this month. Consider what has been spoken here, for there is much to explore. Use the month of June to connect with trees. Ask for help with anything. If you are not feeling well, hug a tree. Again, this morning I, I had a headache. The last couple of days I've woken up with a headache. I just learned that there's huge solar flares going on, so I don't know if that's a connection. But when I headed out this morning, I wasn't feeling very well, and so I stopped and leaned up against one tree on my way to the trail where Henrietta is and could really feel the energy of the tree running through me and started to feel better. And then when I got to Henrietta, I did the same thing. And it's amazing how if you're open to it and if you're willing to receive it, you can really feel the energy of the trees. It makes you feel different. And I felt much better from both trees that I had done that with. So she was making reference to that. Um, in this invitation to mm, connect more with the trees and to discover for yourself exactly what is there, all the potential that is there. If you are lonely, ask a tree to help you feel better. If there is a bee around you, ask the tree to request that that bee leave. Find out for yourself. You must step out of fear in order for this to be a success. You must trust. Find your way into nature. It is much easier to trust there. And so this is an invitation into what we are creating this month. So in this invitation from the trees, this wisdom from the trees, is the invitation for the month of June to take yourself into the natural world and let it be magical for you. And that begins by being fully present with your surroundings, noticing everything around you. There's so much talk about living in the now and being in the now and how that is the way of um, creating in the world and being in the world and being in nature I find is a very easy way to do that because there's so much to connect with there's so much beauty so much wonder and magic and so if we can use the month of June to connect with that and then to even connect on a deeper level and asking for help and support from the trees asking for them to nurture us and care for us you can really explore and see what your experience will be with that 
And it's also an invitation for us to focus on love this month, to see love in nature, to see love in each other, and also to open up to trust, to trusting each other, trusting ourselves. And nature can help lead us to all of this. It's our disconnection from nature that has us so disconnected from the higher aspect of our beings. You know, it is said that we find our way to our higher selves through our lower selves, and the lower self is nature. And to me, nature really is the higher aspect of who we are. It is the divine existing being without any judgment, without any expectations, without looking for anything else. Nature is just being and doing exactly what it is. And the more we resonate with that and allow ourselves to feel that, the more we come back to the true nature of who we are and feel our own true selves and find the great joy and blessing that is simply being in the world and allowing experience to come to us and to evolve and unfold. And so it is an invitation to be open to believing that anything is possible because it is. Just like that request with the ant, just play with it and see what happens. But like Henrietta said, if you ask but you're not believing that it's possible, then you may not see it in your experience. But if you can ask and be open and just believe that it's possible, then it is. Everything that we believe is possible and everything that we believe is impacting our reality. So the invitation is to play with this, to see what it is, to discover love in every moment. Wake up every day and say, where am I going to create love in my life today? So for the month of June, this is the invitation to wake up every day seeking love and looking for love. We find what we look for. If we are looking for what's going wrong in our world, we're sure to find it. And the only way to turn that around is to look for love, to look for grace, to look for blessings. The more we have the focus on something, the more we're going to see it in our experience and then become to believe that it's our truth. So if we have the intention of waking up every day in June looking for love, then by the end of the month there's going to be a whole lot more love in our world. Turn around every thought so that we're focusing on that which we choose to have. And focusing on love is the most beautiful place to start. And when you go into nature, you can feel it so deeply because the trees don't hold fear, the trees don't hold negativity, they just hold love, they hold grace. As I said, they're just being, growing, expanding into everything that is. And so Henrietta closes at this point and says, We love you so. All the world is love, if only you have eyes to see it. Look for it and it will be yours. And at that moment, and I'm feeling this again, I was touched by Henrietta's love. I could really feel her sending her love to me. And I've had this experience many times now in nature. The more I open up to it, the more this experience resonates with me. Um, when we are truly connected with the love of the natural world and open to receiving that love, we can feel it. Recently I was in Toronto and I was walking down the street and just appreciating my surroundings. And three times I found myself on the verge of tears and I thought, what is going on? <laughs> and I realized that anyone walking down the street would think I just had the worst argument of my life with somebody or something. And at, when it happened the third time and I asked that question to myself, what is going on? I got the answer, which is the beautiful thing about asking questions. And the answer was, you are sending so much love to the trees and the flowers and all of nature. It's sending its love back to you and that's what you're feeling. That's what was moving me to tears. It wasn't a sad love. It was a beautiful, warm love, and um, or a sad feeling, I meant to say. And so that's what it was, and that's what's possible when we're open to it and we believe that it's possible. Love is an energy. Love is felt. And plants can give that energy, just like plants do better when we send them love. And scientific studies have shown this, that when we have the intention of loving our plants, they grow better. And they can send that love back to us. And it's a beautiful grace and a beautiful blessing. So that's one place where love can begin. You know, if your personal relationships in life are challenging, or if you find yourself in an argument with someone and you need to feel better, and you need to clear and release that, 
go find some trees and hang out with the trees and just share your worries with them and lean up against the trunk and let them wash it all away. And so I'll offer what Henrietta finishes with now. If you are ever feeling anything less than worthy of who you are, let a tree offer you some love and grace. Love the trees and love nature and they will love you right back. So that's your invitation for June. I hope you enjoy it and I invite you to go to my website to learn more about what I do and also I invite you to share this video and like the video and if you would like to have more information about um, how to receive my monthly newsletter, my email address is below as well. Um, my name is Roshana and my website is roshana.ca, R-A-S-H-A-N-A. And I'm also undertaking a new project where I'm offering group clearing. It's going to be either with webinars or Skype, where we're going to be coming together in a group and doing clearing work with a focus each each night so it's going to be for one hour a week and by coming together in groups we're actually releasing for each other and what I'm discovering in my work is that when we release the limiting beliefs then we're truly getting to that place of fully loving ourselves there are so many limiting beliefs that we carry within us that are keeping us from creating the life that we dream of. They are affecting our thoughts without our awareness and so the more we do to check in and discover what these limiting beliefs are and clear them away, the more we step into fully loving ourselves and then creating the life that we've always dreamed of. So in my mind this is the piece that is missing in creating the reality that you yearn for is getting into these unconscious beliefs that are affecting our thoughts and holding us back. So if you're interested in joining this group, please email me. The email address is below to get some more information about when we'll start and how to register. And I will have that listed on my website very soon as well. And so I would like to say that uh, it's been such an honor to share this work with you, to bring this information forward in this very first tree wisdom report and I send my love and blessings to you all. I see the truth of you from my heart and so it is.